Hey guys, so I just uh, wanted to do a uh, very quick comparison here between Sony Xperia XCS and the XC uh, phones because I think some people might be wondering is it worth it to upgrade here to the super slow XCS uh, in terms of the camera technology or is it not much of an upgrade? We're going to find out here. So let's just start at the same time. And uh, some people pointed out when unboxing the XCS, they did notice like some light bleed here, up here, and I've started to notice it as well. And it's particularly strange as we didn't get it with the XC, uh, so maybe you know, that could be just my model. If we just zoom in close here, uh, if my camera will focus, you can definitely see uh, some light bleed up there, uh, which is a bit disappointing. These phones aren't cheap, obviously, about 500 to 600 euro, the XCS, depending where you get it from. Uh, but in terms of the other stuff, we can have a look at the you know differences here. So you can see we get a slightly more up-to-date uh, Sony kind of uh, skin, which does give you some new uh, widgets, etc., which do take some time to update, I've noticed, actually. Uh, they have actually recently upgraded the XZ to Android 7.1.1, uh, which is actually quite good, because usually, uh, you know, Sony's a bit slow when it comes to the software updates, but you can see we are running the latest Android patch level, uh, which, you know, uh, they don't have the same kind of widgets as the new uh, XCS, which is a bit annoying, but it's pretty it's good that they are keeping it uh, up to date nevertheless obviously the other major change is the super slow uh, video recording ability which you will find here like a button that you can put that on uh, when you go into the camera setting uh, so that's a nice addition but everything else i think the actual sensor is slightly different as well uh, looking into the actual specifications of it you do get uh, like a, a manual mode here which you can you know put on stuff we can see they're doing 17 megapixel now in the widescreen mode uh, versus like 20 well you had 19 as the 4x3 and you had 20 as the 16x9 so they definitely uh, changed the sensor here the underlying one uh, but from some of the reviews I have looked at, the actual uh, low light performance is still off the mark compared to the competition, uh, unfortunately. But uh, there are some differences, nevertheless, in terms of the camera. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the performance here, nevertheless. We have updated everything and see uh, if the extra gig of RAM does help uh, in terms of the performance. So let's just zoom in a little bit. So you can see the XCS does seem to be a little bit snappier here, uh, generally. Maybe they've done some upgrades underlying it as well, such as the uh, storage, which is obviously very important when it comes to, you know, the performance here. And I've got to say, you know, it definitely feels like the XCS uh, is the snappier device here overall, uh, which is good. Let's just open up some games. In fact, let's open up music there you go again uh, let's have a look here that light lead is pretty ugly at the top I've got to say and uh, you can certainly notice it on like this red background whoa uh, let's have a look at this one strange face zombie thing yeah, you can see XES is loading pretty much everything here, that little bit snappier. I think this one's going to load. In fact, this one's actually loading the same, pretty much. You can see this little ball of grass is loading meter, which I didn't notice before. That's pretty cool. Ah, well, the XES did win again uh, which is good and I think we have some other games let's try GTA go so that's pretty much identical and finally Modern combat. So I think I'm satisfied here that I can see a performance difference. Uh, not a huge one, but still, you know, it is a little bit faster here for those of you who want to know. 
Uh, we're going to have a look at the speed of the Wi-Fi. So they are on the same one. And I've always been uh, impressed with Sony's score when it comes to getting the most out of my bandwidth. Uh, they are very uh, good actually. But the ACS should be an improvement based upon what I've seen. So you can see there's definitely some unpublicized uh, improvements with the XES. I'm thinking that they've improved the storage and the antennas here uh, because you know that is a flagship level score nevertheless and a definite improvement. Have they improved the multitasking? That is uh, you know something here because uh, we do have four gigs of RAM now and as you can see it's looking very good compared to the XZ which I think should have come with 4 gigs of RAM considering it launched for about 600 euro uh, but it's not infallible you can see there's definitely some reloads still on the XCS but it just generally seems to be much snappier and uh, quicker to go back into it overall and you can see it keeps the game in memory here no problem uh, and this one advert so I think it's uh, I think it's keeping the game in memory again there. Uh, so I'm uh, very satisfied here with the performance of the XCS being a huge upgrade from the old uh, XZ. But am I satisfied in terms of the rest of the stuff? Uh, I'd say Sony can do better. You know they definitely should have kept the the Snapdragon 35 and put it in the smaller devices. But not everyone wants a big phone. You know and if you want the latest cutting edge screen, you're going to have to get the XZ Premium. Whereas it would have been nice if they had followed the, the compact model that they used to do, like having the flagship in every size. Uh, so that's a little disappointing, but if you just like looking for a phone here and you're looking to jump on Sony, uh, I definitely recommend the XCS. You know, it's got a good overall performance and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it'll give you a good experience overall. But I definitely think, uh, you know, the XC now is cheaper. Uh, it's probably better value for money overall because, you, you know, you're getting pretty much the same thing here. Uh, and uh, it's you know probably going to be a bit more affordable uh, at the moment uh, but overall if I was going to be you I'd say try and get the XZ Premium because it's coming with so much more like 4k display so 835 uh, bigger battery etc and generally good reviews I've seen uh, so uh, yeah just a quick little comparison here Sony X3 XZS versus XZ uh, if you've got any questions you let me know hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one cheers